let's say you eat in a Mexican restaurant and you get sick, you don't feel very good, you have a stomach ache, or you end up with diarrhea. You might say, well, it's a fluke. It, that's not something that happens often, or it, it could have just been a one-time event. And then you go back and you get sick again. If you go back a third time, you're the problem. You might, and then you might come to the conclusion, all Mexican restaurants are bad. No, it's just that you chose to go to one where you got sick and you kept going back. So it's your fault. It's your fault. The way that you choose restaurants is faulty. Relationships are the same way. If you have a bad relationship, men, men, listen to me. If you have a bad relationship, maybe two, are you going to say all women are bad? No. An honest man who's intellectually honest is going to say to himself, maybe my method of choosing women is faulty. Maybe it's not women, maybe it's me. You look really attractive today. Thank you. Ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. You know, when I started speaking in, geez, 1974, the traditional advice was don't talk about sex, politics, or religion. And even then, I said, well, what the hell else is there to talk about? I mean, we've just described everything everybody's interested in and everything everybody's involved in. I mean, at least 50% of the reasons why people buy everything has to do with sex. Some are either not getting it or thinking this will help you get it. I mean, that's, that's why guys take out the trash. I mean, well, I'm serious. Go to any apartment of any single guy and take a look around. It ain't like he's taking the trash out every week, you know? But, but So he takes the trash out every Friday at home. Why? There's only one reason. And it ain't that he objects to having trash. He'd just have five trash cans in there. He wouldn't have, I mean, downstairs in my personal space in my office, that's been my solution. I don't want to empty the wastebasket every three days. I got eight wastebaskets. You know, when I was single, the first thing I did when I was newly single is I went over to JCPenney and I bought 365 pair of underwear. <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to do laundry for Christ's sake. I mean, <laughs> once a year, baby, that's when we're down to 364 in the trash can in the garage, we'll do some laundry, right? I mean, so, so the, guy, the married guy's taking the trash out for one reason and one reason only. I mean, that's it. Due to my age, the doctor suggested that I install a bar in my shower. So I did. Don't even ask me where I squished these up from. I know, I did it on purpose. But the Canadian truckers. Seriously, how big are the balls on those Canadian truckers? They're in the snow, minus 22 degrees in a t-shirt saying, take my truck, put me in prison. I don't care, freedom matters more. I honestly believe the reason they have to have those big ass trucks is because their balls are so big. And what a relief it is to womankind to finally see alpha males parading their testosterone through the streets with their big balls swinging like pendulums in the snowy blizzard. Thank God for the truckers. Honk honk to you and me. I am here as the spirit of the menopause ready to stand on your bonnet, what do you call it, hood, hood, ready to stand on your hood anytime you choose. Hi, my name is Erin, I use she, her pronouns, and I am a... Oh. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> Stirring the motherfucking coffee with motherfucking chopsticks using the motherfucking vortex method. <laughs>